most of animators. So today I'll show you this quick and fun, easy animation to make. Get your nice little cat right here, dancing all happy. What's that saying? Uh, happy milk comes from happy cows? Or good milk comes from happy cows? Or cheese or something? I don't know. Too much commercials out there, too many commercials. Not trying to give away free advertisement for the dairy industry. All right, so anyways, let's get started. So first, we're gonna make some nice, cute little hills. All right, uh, my scene here for the hills, it's gonna be inspired by this scene right here from the old uh, Windows XP desktop right here. The image is actually called Bliss, All right? Nice, calm image. So let's get started here. I'm gonna go with the oval tool. It's gonna break down everything and make it cartoony. I'm gonna go down here where it says stroke and change that to no stroke, so no stroke there. And then for fill, I'm just gonna go with the green color for now, and then later um, I'll add a gradient. Now let me zoom out here a bit so I can see a little better. Let me try 80%. There we go. I'm just gonna make an oval right here, big long oval. And there we go, something like that. Let me go over here to selection tool, click on it, adjust it over to the left. There we go. All right, um, I wanna have a little bit of gradient in there, a gradient, I want a gradient in there. So with the uh, oval here selected, my green oval, I'm gonna go up here and click on the palette right here, this paint palette. I'm gonna click on solid color. I'm gonna go over here to radial gradient. There we go, so I got two colors here. I got like a dark green, a lighter green. If, uh, if you have black and white here, which if uh, it's your first time using it, it might just be black and white. So go ahead and click on one of the swatches. Be careful if you click outside of it, it's gonna add a new one. Notice a little arrow there, the course has a plus sign. So to get rid of it, just hold down the left mouse button on that extra one and then pull it down. There you go, just, just pull it away. I'm gonna click on this one here and to make it a little darker, click this one here, maybe make it a little brighter. There we go. And then you can move these up and down so you can try different colors. So right now it's in the, in the greens right here. All right, and now um, I want the lighter color to be over here. Right now it's in the center. You can actually move it around. Actually, uh, I learned this from a student. He said you can use the paint bucket right here, click on it, make sure your object there is selected, hold down the left mouse button on it and then drag it over. Notice that lighter spots moving around, kind of like a spotlight. So I'm gonna put it around over here somewhere. There we go, that way I get like a shadow here. And I'll put another little hill over there. All right, I'm gonna go over here to the selection tool and I'm gonna try to just reshape it a bit. I wanna get like a curve uh, icon next to my uh, cursor here, like an eyelash. So I gotta click out of there, there we go. So now I have the eyelash, I wanna get there on the edge and I can do this. There you go, something like that. There we go, nice brighter colors there. Move the whole thing over, there we go. Now I wanna make a duplicate. I wanna put one on the other side, or the other side here of my hill. So uh, it's just one hill there, and then there's something in the background over there, some mounds way out there in the distance. I'm just gonna put another hill right here. All right, I'm gonna click on this one. I'm actually just gonna duplicate it. And I wanna make sure it's, um, it's one of these right here, uh, create object. That way, um, when I make a duplicate of it, it doesn't snap to it. If I don't click that, let me show you what happens. I can do this, and let's say I want to move it around. Boom, I just clipped it off. So let me undo that, and let me go over here with that selected. Click on object, and click on this one right here, create object, not the break apart one, because I don't want to break it apart, at least not right now. All right, so now I'm gonna hold on the alternate key, I have this selected with the selection tool, hold on the left mouse button and drag over. There we go, so now I got another hill over there. Put this one a little lower there. There we go. And maybe pull this out over here with the selection tool as well. Let me click out of there. Come back over. And uh, even though it's one of these drawing objects, I can still play around here with the curve. Let me bring that down like this. There we go. Maybe bring this one up a bit here. And bring this down some more. Oops, I'm not getting the, the eyelash, the little curve icon there. There we go. So now I got it. And there we go, cool. So you can see there, there's two hills. Uh, I don't like how it's round there at the end, so let me try to adjust that there. And you just have it go all the way across, there we go. Let me hit uh, Control Enter to get a preview see that, of what that looks like. Cool, there you go. So there's obviously there are two hills. Uh, this one's too round for you. You can always go back and adjust it, little eyelash icon, and make some changes there. Maybe, there we go, cool. All right, so I'm gonna lock this one right here. I'm gonna double click right here on layer one. I'm just gonna call it hills. There we go. And also, um, whenever you do me unlock it real quick, remember if you wanna make the adjustments here on the on the curve, 
make sure it's not selected. Once it's selected, you basically grab the whole thing. Maybe you don't want to do that. Control Z. So make sure it's not selected and then put your mouse on it and you're good. All right, so I'm gonna lock that one up. I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm just gonna call this one sky. I'm gonna double click in there. Sky. Enter. And I'm gonna bring in a rectangle tool and make a background there for the sky. So I'm gonna go here, oval tool, hold down the left mouse button, rectangle tool, and then drag across. There we go. A nice green sky. No, no green skies. I don't know if anybody's heard of this, but when there's a tornado coming, the sky turns green. At least that's what, that's what somebody from North Texas told me. All right, so I'm gonna click here. And then I'm gonna go back up here and I'm gonna do linear gradient, this time linear gradient. And I'm gonna choose sky colors. So that would be blue, and go up to blue, this one blue, all right. And then this one, I'm gonna click on it, and then I'm gonna make this one white, so I'm gonna go right here. There we go. Uh, sometimes, it, sometimes it does take a while for it to load as you're making the choice, the selections here. Let me try to move this over more a bit, and there we go. Uh, sometimes I'll change a the color, then it takes a while for it to take effect, so you have to uh, wait for it after you change it. All right, so um, I want the blue up top, not over, not over here on the left, so I'm gonna go over here to the paint bucket. Hold down the left mouse button here and just rotate it. Oh, oh, let me pull it down. There we go, cool. All right, let me put this behind the hills. There we go. Oh, I want it up higher. So what I'm gonna do, because if I pull this up again, it's just gonna do this. You know, maybe I don't want that. This is uh, kind of tricky to play with. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? I'll just leave it like how I had it. Let me just undo. I'm going to undo right here. Selection tool, undo, and click here, undo. It's not going back. Control Z. And we're going to crash. What's going on? All right, I'm back. I uh, undid, undo too much. All right, back over here to the paint bucket. Hold down left mouse button there and rotate it over. There we go. And I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to flip it over with the free transform tool instead. Selection tool. Bring down the sky layer behind the hills. There we go, I want some white down there. So I want the white at the bottom, blue up top. So I'm gonna go over here to the free transform tool. I'm gonna go over one of these corners until I get the loop icon on my uh, mouse cursor there. Hold down the left mouse button and just drag. Nice, uh, 360 there. And I still barely have any white in there, so I'm just gonna make this wider. I'm just gonna make it taller. And then pull it up. There we go. Actually, actually, I can go in there because you won't be able to see the rest of it. Uh, here we go. Control Enter. See how that sky looks there. Nice, cool. And I got some white there. You know, I want more white over here, so I'll pull it up a little further. There we go. And it's big enough so that um, it uh, covers up uh, all the edges there on the stage. Control Enter. There we go. I like this guy a lot better. If I want some more blue in there, I can always go in here and then pull the blue over. To the right a little bit more. There we go. Control Enter, just to test it out. A lot of Control Enter, left and right. Cool. That sky, I'm gonna lock that one up. I'm done with the sky. Now I'm gonna make another layer for clouds. So I'm at the plus on here. That layer should be at the very top. Actually, it could be in between the hills and the clouds. So I'm just gonna go here, double click, as long as it's not behind the, the sky. Clouds, or below the sky, however you want to word it. And to make clouds, usually I just use the oval tool. So I'm gonna go over here. If you look at if clouds are a circular, right? And usually I make gray clouds, but today I'm gonna make some blue and white clouds using uh, the same color I made here. And uh, I'm gonna make these clouds a little different. Usually I just make a bunch of ovals like this. They're just overlapping each other. But now I'm gonna do something different. So let me undo that. And oval tool. And is that on or off? I can't tell right now. So let me make one oval there. And I'll make another oval over here. And I'll make another one right there. And another one right there. All right. Now I'm going to go here to the selection tool. Let me click on it. All right. They're not the uh, they're the broken up type. And I'm going to drag across the bottom half just like that. Let me pull that out. And I'm going to go with uh, something like this. Let me delete this bottom one right here. And I'm going to drag select that there. Make sure you get the whole thing. Make sure the other layers are locked, that way you don't select anything else. Right in here, and try solid color, back to linear gradient, there we go. They all have one gradient now. I'm gonna go over here to the paint bucket, and I'm just gonna rotate it so that the blue is up top, and it's not too bright. Let's see, 
I want some, uh, actually, I think I'll make them like this, but I want more, uh, I want more white in them. Let me go over here, and we'll move this to the left, far left there, and move in with some more white in there. Line is too sharp there. Oh, it's going to be frustrating here. It's a frustrating one. Something like that. Should I make it taller? Just make it bigger? Hold down the shift key, pull that out, free transform tool. And I'll try to experiment, experiment with it here. See, the more I pull it up, the stronger the gradient is, the more noticeable it is. If I pull it down, it's very sharp. Oh, there we go. Cool. I don't know how I got that, but I went down far enough and it gave me that selection tool or free transform tool. I'll make it smaller there. Something like that. All right. And if I go over here and look at my scene, let's see, does it transition into the background? No, that's all right. So if I go over here, take a look at this. It's a lot more cloud heavy on the right side, a little more dense there with the clouds. So I'll make more duplicates here on this side and maybe just one or two on the left. All right, so I got that one there selected. Alternate key, drag this one out. It's going to make copies of the same ones. Make that one smaller. Put it up there. Alternate key, drag one out. Now I'm going to flip this one the other way. I'm going to right click it, go over here to transform, and then flip uh, horizontal. There we go. Make this one a little smaller there as well. Cool. Go with this one over here. And if you don't like the shape of your original clouds, you can always make more. So I'm going to go to your oval tool again. Got the stroke in there. And I'll just use the same technique here and make um, make another cloud just like the ones I've been making there. All right. And then selection tool. Select the bottom half. Delete there. And double click in there. Or just drag select the whole thing better off. Go in here. And linear gradient again. Oh, click out of linear gradient and then back to linear gradient. There you go, same colors there. Paint bucket, let's see if I can get it just right this time. And we're going down. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got a one side there. Oh, there we go. Cool. So straight down and you'll get it. All right, I'll put this one over here. And I'll make one more over here. I'll make a copy of this one over there. Alternate, drag select, free transform tool. Just make this one smaller there. There we go. Maybe even rotate it. Right click, transform, flip horizontal. There we go. That way you get a little more variety of your clouds. Cool. Nice cute little sky there. And my background is basically done there. So I'm going to lock that up. And now I'm going to make my cow. So plus sign here. And here's uh, my layer for the cow. I'm just going to double click in there. I'm going to call it cow. There we go. All right. So to make a cow, I just break it down to its uh, most basic cartoony form. You know, uh, and if you look at a cow, um, they're not necessarily round, but cartoon ca cows are round. I'm going to go over your oval tool. And for fill right here, I'm just going to go for white, make the inside of the, the face of the cow white. And then for stroke, I'm going to go with black. So it has a black outline, just like a cartoon. And stroke size, I'm going to go with 10. So a nice thick stroke around it. So it's nice and noticeable, just like a cartoon. You would draw your character, and then you fill in the inside of it. And I'm going to hide these other layers for now. That way they don't uh, get in the way. So I'm going to hide the, let's see, I'll leave sky there. I'll hide uh, hills and clouds. There we go. And I'll start making uh, the head here with that oval tool. And there we go. So make an oval like that. There's going to be my head. And then I'll make a mouth for it. So go back here, oval tool again. And then the mouth, uh, I'll make the inside of the mouth pink. Let's choose a pink color here. So a lighter pink and go with that one. I make the mouth down here and then I'll bring it up. There we go, make it wider than the rest. I can make it thinner, it's up to you guys, however you wanna make it. Now I wanna make some nostrils and the stroke on there, I think 10 is too thick for the nostrils, so I'm gonna try half of that, see, uh, right here at five. And make two, one oval here and then duplicate it. Selection tool and drag select that there. Hold down the alternate key and drag one over. There we go, and then drag select these two and then bring it in right here. Is approximately in the middle, top middle there somewhere. You can use the arrows on your keyboard and move it around while it's still selected. There you go, click out of there. Cool, looks good. I'm gonna drag select that there and bring it up in there and it's already looking like a cow. Try to put it in there middle-ish, uh, middle doesn't have to be perfect as so long as it looks like it's around there. Should make it a little lower. I mean, I think I liked it up higher, how I had it. There you go. And now I'm gonna make some, uh, some eyes. So to make the eyes, I'm going to go over here to oval tool, 
and then the fill is also going to be black and then maybe no stroke on this one no stroke and i'll just make some uh some cute puppy eyes like this there we go go here selection tool click on this one hold on the alternate key and drag it out there we go those are going to be my eyes but let's add um add a little more flair to the eyes so i have some uh some of that white glare that you see in cartoons i'm gonna go right here oval tool again then fulfill this i'm gonna go with white and the cool thing, I only I have this blue up here in the background. That way I can see this white circle I'm going to make. I'm going to get down here. I can't see it. Something there, but you can't see it. Selection tool. See, there it is. Let me get rid of that. So I made it over here in the blue background. All right, so I'm going to bring it in around here somewhere. Try to keep it inside the eyeball. Uh, I don't like that. Let me uh, make it longer, free transform tool. And selection tool to go look a little better now. No, actually, I think it's way too big. So let me zoom into it. I'll make it smaller. Let me try 200. And free transform tool. And I'll make it a lot smaller. Then to move it around, I'm going to move it with the selection tool. Not a free transform tool. So when uh, you try moving things around with the free transform tool, you might move the uh, that pivot point there. You don't want to do that. Depends on the project. But for this one, we don't want to do that. I'll put that right there. And then hold on the alternate key. Move it one over here on the other side. There we go. And drag select and uh, it's not the iris or the pupil or whatever just a little glare on the eye but if you like you can try to put it in the center if you kind of want one to be like the um, uh, pupil for it and there we go cool let me zoom out of there 80 percent all right now i'm going to make uh, an ear oval tool and stroke it's going to be uh 20 sorry 10 just like this one over here so stroke over here back over to black and then make it 10 like everything else and then the ears. Actually, I'm just going to make the ears black. You can make the fill uh, black as well. But I'm going to. Uh, sorry, you can make the fill also white, but I'm just going to make it black. I'll just make an oval there next to it. I guess I could use the eyes also to make the ears. Free transform tool. Click on that one. Actually, selection tool. Double click it. Hold on the alternate key and then drag out. Now we got two ears. And then while I still have the selection tool here, I'm gonna actually going to reshape the head a bit. I'm going to bring this up. Oops, oops, nope. Let me see if I can bring this up right here. There we go. And then I can put the ears up a little higher. So free transform tool, double click that and then rotate it a bit. Oops, double click. Go over to the corners, rotate it a bit. There we go. We'll click this one, rotate it up a bit. There we go. And then with the selection tool, I'll move it over. Maybe more rotating there. Cartoon cow. There we go. Notice when I do move it with the free transform tool, I try not to grab that white dot there. So move the origin. There we go. That's cool. And they don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be the exact same angle. It's a cartoon. It's all right. Cool. There's my cow head. I just got to make a cow body. Oval tool again. And then stroke. Sorry for fill. I'm going to go with white. Stroke still 10 and black. Let's make an oval out here for my cow body. There we go. And let's see, you want to make some spots for your cow. So I'll go for fill, black. And I'll just make some ovals over here. And then pull it in inside of my cow. And there's a spot right there. And then I'll make more spots. And then may just drop one right in there. Selection tool, drag select that there. There we go. Maybe add something in there. Oh, well, actually, these are two around for me. There we go. I'll add one right in there. Cool. So something like that. Another one right there. I don't know, as many spots as you want. Spot a cow, maybe put some spots there in the face, but usually I just leave that alone. Selection tool, and then drag select that there, there. Put it behind the cow. Oops, in front of the cow. So let's move it to the back. Right click, arrange, and I don't think so. Let me move it to the back. So what I got to do is, uh, if you're in this situation where it doesn't move back, you're going to go over here and click on this button right there. Bam. And now you can right click it and move it to the back. Arrange, send to back. There we go. So now I can just go behind the cow. Come on. All right. So this one, I can do the same thing so I can move it to the back or move this one to the front. I'll right click it and send to front. 
uh, line, there it is, range, bring to front. There we go. So something like that. Uh, there we go. Cool. And I can't even see that ear no more. That's what I get for um, for making too many spots. Let me get out of there. If you do want to change that, if you're in the situation that I'm in, uh, notice how we did did do the um, uh, make it into an object. Just double click your cow, your cow body. It takes you to editing mode, and then you can get rid of some of that there. Double click there, delete. Double click delete. And I know it got chopped off right there, but that's okay. It's, you're not going to notice it later. And then I got to fill this in with white paint bucket. Fill color white. Let's see if it's going to leak over. Yeah, I got to close it up. Selection tool. And we'll close that up. There we go. I just dragged over to close it up. Paint bucket white. And filling it in. Come on, fill it in. If you're not going to fill it in, go call it. Our oval tool, I'll just make a white circle in there. You can cheat the system. No stroke. And just make a white circle in there. Cover that up. So you don't want to you want to cooperate Adobe Animate. There we go. And a little bit more right there. There we go. And that's okay. You're not going to see that's behind the, the cow there. And I can exit editing mode. And there we go. Cool. All right your selection tool and drag select these two i'm going to convert them into a symbol so make sure they're both grouped there together right click convert to symbol and i'm going to call that one cow and make sure movie clip it's for type is movie clip we're going to create a motion tween later and we're going to animate the legs and the tail and center registration there there we go cool and let me unlock these other layers so we can see what it looks like nice uh do you know what you call a cow with no feet ground beef all right so there's my cow it's a symbol now and i want to add some legs to it and a tail forgot to add a tail there and why not add another while we're at it so i'm gonna double click it there we go and this one i'm just gonna call it head and body here head and body underscore and underscore body head and shoulders all right lock that layer up plus sign there and right here i'm just gonna call this one legs enter and to make the legs, I'm just going to use a rectangle tool. I'm going to go right in here, rectangle tool, and stroke. It's going to be black and also size 10, and fill is going to be white. And I'm just going to make a nice long leg there. There we go. And maybe I want to add some feet there, some hooves, right? It's it called hooves. So I'm going to go here to fill, black, and make this one a little bit bigger. A little bit off to the side. Let me undo that. Let me put it off to the front. Maybe my cow has shoes. There we go. Selection tool. Try to bring this up or down. Bring it up. There we go. And I'm going to drag select that there. And I got the head body there locked, so I don't have to worry about messing it up. And bring it in around there. And then I'm going to make a duplicate there. Hold down the alternate key and drag it over to the right. You know, having these, uh, this foot sticking out is going to make it harder to animate. I already know. Well, on the alternate key, drag this one out. I want to keep it the same length. Oh, there's going to be no room for another. And uh, these legs are too thick. These legs are too thick. This cow does not skip leg day. Let me undo, undo. And I'm going to just make this one thinner here. And then I'll duplicate that. It's starting to freeze. Oh, there we go. So delete these right here. Delete. Double click. Nope. Drag select. Free transform tool. And let's make a thinner leg there. Sorry, cow. There we go. Now you are skipping leg day. Selection tool. There we go. Drag select that there. Alternate key. And we'll put that foot there. Alternate key. We'll put one there. Alternate key. Put one out. Back there. No, I don't like that. So... I can change that. I can go over here to the head and body one. Let me lock the legs. Over here, head and body, unlock. And then I can try to make this uh, bigger here with the selection tool. I can try to see if I can pull on this curve there. There we go. And then that spot's fine right there. There we go. So I lost a little bit of that oval shape, but we got something there. All right, so uh, it looks like I need a little bit more space right there. Free transform tool. 
And oops, oops, how does that happen? Double click back to editing mode and let me click on this one here. Oh, it's on the legs layer. Let me unlock that. There we go. That's what happened. Too many clicks. And there we go. And move this over to the right. There we go. And I got to move these over to the right as well so I can get uh, the back of it there. Little neater. There we go. Now you have room to put another right there. All right. So the other has to go in between these two legs. I'll put like a pink udder there. Same color as that. Same outline. So I'm going to make sure these are the uh, these type of objects there. So I'm going to drag select all of those there. Head and cow layer lock. Boom. All right. So now I can do all the rearranging. Oh, I made them all into one object. Not what I want. So undo. Okay, I can just click that too as well. There you go. I'll drag select that one there. All right. And then break apart there. And then drag select that one there. Sorry, not break apart. Create object. I keep saying break apart. And we'll create object on that one too. So I should have made the first one with the create object. And then uh, duplicate it there. There we go. I'll make another. And also make it a uh, create object. So fill color. So it'll be the same pink color as this one. So I'm just going to sample it there. Stroke 10. I'll make it down here. Oh, that's not the oval tool. Let's see down here. Oval tool. There we go. And not too big, just enough to fit in there. There's another there. And then make one of these here for the milk. And should I make two or three? And actually, I think they have four. I'll make three right here. Should have do just duplicated one right there. So selection tool, double click that there. Move it over, alternate key, alternate key, and then free transform tool to rotate the ones on the outside a bit. There we go. Now I'm going to bring them in. So selection tool. And right about there. See if I can click, clip that off right there. Yeah, you can click in there with the selection tool, delete it. Let me try deleting a little bit more. Nope, too much. Undo. Click right there, delete it. Click right there, delete it. And I should have brought it in a little bit more. Then we'll add a bigger gap like that one. So let me do that. Undo, undo. Undo. All right, so there we go. So now I have a better clip, and then this one I can just make it a little longer. There we go. Click in there, delete. Click in there, delete. Click in there, delete. Cool, there we go. Uh, that looks a little weird, but it's all right. Now we can put it in there. So let me make it one of these right here. Draw an object and put it right about there. Let me rotate it a bit. Put it up there. Gotta make it smaller. Hold on, shift. Actually, right there is good because I'm gonna alternate the legs later. So put that there, and I'll click on this one. I'll bring it to the front. Right click it, arrange, bring to front. There we go. Cool. All right, and then this legs layer, I'm just gonna put it behind all of these. There we go. So now it's behind the cow there. And then I'll make another layer for the tail. So I'm going to lock this one up. A new layer. Double click that there. I'm going to call it tail. And there we go. Go to this paintbrush tool. And then make this black. Stroke is 20. Stroke on this was 10. Let me go over here to 10. And the tail, usually it's white and then it's black at the end. Uh, I'm just going to make the whole thing like that. There we go. I'm not liking that tail too much. I'll make the stroke a little bigger. Undo. 15. Oops. 1, 5, enter. And it'll make the end there a little bigger. There we go. The fly swatter. There we go. Selection tool. There we go. Let me try to smooth that out there. Ooh, undo. I'm not liking that there. I don't do. I just leave it how it is. Undo. There, that's cool. All right. So there's tail there. And now I'm gonna animate the tail moving around and the legs. So this is the um, one pose for the legs. All I need is two poses. So a pose like this and a pose with the legs open. So I'm gonna go over here to frame. Let's go 
go frame six. I'm going to right click on frame six right here for the legs. Insert keyframe. Let me uh, lock the uh, the tail. Actually, let's. Uh, I'm going to go with six. So it'll be five frames there. Then another frames with the other one. I'll do that later. So for tails, for a head and body here, I'm going to go over here to frame eleven and just insert a regular frame. There, because I'm not going to animate the body there. And then for tail there, I'm also going to insert a keyframe at six. Enter keyframe. There we go. And then, oh, since I'm in the tail layer for now, I'm just going to flip it in this one right here. Free transform tool. Actually, just right click it. And then go to uh, transform and flip vertical. Oh, doesn't look too cool. Let me try to bring it up and see if it's in the same spot. Yeah, somewhat the same spot. Cool. All right. I'm going to lock that up. I'll go here to legs. Click on that leg frame here, the new keyframe, and then free transform tool. Let me click on the leg. Oh, I gotta unlock it. There we go. Click on the leg there and just rotate it out a bit so it's open. Click on that one. Open it up. Click on that one. Open it up. And you click on that one and open it up. Just enough to see that the legs are open now. See, there we go. And I'll insert a frame right here. Just a regular frame. Insert frame. And right here, insert a regular frame. I hit the loop button right here so I can see the animation. Drag this over, covers up that whole range there. And oh, looks looks like I am one frame over. That's okay. Play button. There you go. Cool. It looks like my cow is walking. And uh, if you don't like that, you can always shift it over. But there you go. My cow's a little more animated now. I guess I could even move the udder too, but I'll leave it like that. Pause it and get out of there. Cool. So there's my cow. Now I want to decide how long I want to make this animation for. I'm actually have the cow kind of jump out from over there and then move forward. So let's go over with uh, 30 frames per second. I want to make um, a 10 second animation. That'd be 300 frames. Maybe not that long. I think five seconds is long enough. So three times five, 15, so 150, 150 frames. Let me uh, drag this over here. And where is 150? Here's 150. So for the cow, I'm gonna Click on that frame there, 150 for the cow. Then I'm going to right click it and then sort of frame. So I'm going to create a motion tween. If I was doing a shape tween or a classic tween, that would be a keyframe. But for this, it's just going to be a regular frame for the motion tween. There we go. And everything else is gone. It's still there. It's just uh, we didn't copy those frames over. So I just have to go down here and insert frames for the rest of them. I can actually click on one frame, then hold on the shift key and click, and click one on the opposite, opposite end. And then right click and insert a, insert a frame for all of them. See, there we go. So now we're here in the cow layer. I'm going to right click in there and create motion tween. Cool. All right. So I'm going to go over here to my first frame. And I'm going to position the cow where I want it to start. I want it to start back here somewhere. I've got the free transform tool. And it's going to start out small because it's coming from, a, from the distance, right? So things far away look small. Put it back here. Oh, too small. A little bit bigger. Put it back there. Control Enter. See how that looks so far. Nice. And it's already moving there. It's dancing. All right. Let me go over here to the last frame, frame 150. Let's click on frame 150. There we go. I'll move it over here to the right. Let's see. Careful to not to grab the pivot point there. See, there's the um, the motion tween, motion path. Let me hold down the uh, F mouse button and drag out there. There we go. I'll put it like right there. Control Enter, it's gonna move across there. Cool, that's fun. Let me close that out. Bit the play button here. Uh, you may not see the legs move. Let's see. It's not even moving at all. What happened? Oh, it's the loop somewhere else. Let me just hit play. There we go. So hit Control Enter if your legs aren't moving here. That's probably due to the processing power there. I'm gonna pause that and then um, Every so often, every like fifth or tenth frame, maybe later twentieth, I'm actually gonna move the cow up and down. So we're the selection tool, and click on the cow itself, not the path. You don't want to click on the path. If you hover your mouse over the path, you'll see a little uh, eyelash icon. That means you can make a curvy path, a curvy uh, uh, change. I want a sharp turn, so I'm gonna actually just pull the cow straight up. It gives me a sharper turn. See, right there, nice sharp turn. Let me try over here, uh, twenty. Pull it straight down. So now it'll look like my, like my cow's jumping up and down. 
Let me show you here. There we go. Man, that cow was flying up there. Let me bring it down a bit. Man, that was a big jump there, cow. All right. Let me try over here 30 again. Bring it up a bit. And these freaking super jumps. This cow should be in the NBA. And pull it down right there. And then let me try 55 this time. Pull it up. And I don't know, I'm just choosing random ones now. I'm just trying to increase the distance here on the on the jumps. So as they get closer, um, the jumps are less frequent. And then the last one right here, I just went up, so then it goes down, down a little bit more. And let's make it bigger while we're at it over here. In your face, all right. Control enter. Cool, that's fun, all right. So let's, um, you can even animate the, the clouds. So let me uh, lock that up. And the clouds are on their own individual layer, so I'm gonna unlock that layer there. I'm gonna go to the last frame right here for the for the clouds. Notice it select all the clouds there when I click on that frame. And I'm gonna insert a keyframe in there. So I'm gonna do a classic tween. I'm just shifting the shifting the, the clouds from point A to point B. Um, the cow here obviously went from point A to point B, but there were slight deviations where I had it jumping. So that's where the motion tween came in handy. But the classic tween that's just for point A to point B, just a straight line. So um, I'm gonna right click in there and create it. Uh, insert a keyframe this time and I'm just going to shift the clouds from right to left all right so there I am in the last frame and I'm going to right click in here and create classic tween it's going to ask to convert to a symbol yep go ahead and convert it to a symbol all right last frame there and move it over to the left a bit just a slight slight change not too much and then we go over to the first frame oh there it is it's already moving control enter And there we go. Well, it even looks like these are moving at a different speed, but they're not. They're actually all one symbol together. They're moving at the same speed. Nice. So there you have it. Nice, fun, little cute animation. If you would like to support the channel, please like, subscribe, add a like, uh, comment, share, anything helps. Have an awesome day. Take care. Bye.